cans. They are reliable, stackable, durable, and recyclable. And they are a big part of Ball Corporation's business. Ball is an innovator in the design and production of lightweight aluminum beverage containers. Our technology is used by companies all over the world. We manufacture high quality aluminum cans in a variety of sizes, from the tiny 5.5 ounce to the jumbo 32 ounce. The most produced beverage can is the 12 ounce can. In this program, we will see how Ball makes a typical 12 ounce can. It all starts here, when rolls of aluminum weighing up to 15,000 pounds are delivered to a ball plant by a truck or rail car. A forklift loads the aluminum roll or coil onto the upender, where the coil is tilted 90 degrees to allow an overhead crane to lift the coil for placement on the coil handling system. The aluminum coil is placed on the coil car and loaded into the uncoiler. The coil is examined closely for surface defects, dents, or discoloration. The uncoiler feeds the aluminum through a lubricator where a thin film of lubricant is applied. The lubricant protects the tooling in the next machine, the cupping press, from getting scratched. The aluminum is then fed into the cupping press. The cupping press is a dual action punch press which can produce up to 14 aluminum cups in a single stroke at speeds of up to 250 strokes per minute. The heavy thumping sound of the cupping press may be the most distinctive sound in a beverage can plant. Here you can see an illustration of the cupping press action. In a two-step operation, one set of tooling cuts circular discs from the coil, then punches force the disc through dies to form the cups. Don't forget, this is being done at up to 250 strokes per minute. The cups now leave the cupping press and are conveyed to the next machines in the process, the body makers. At the body makers, a punch forces each cup through a series of progressively smaller dies to stretch the cups into the familiar can shape. The domed bottom of the can is formed at the end of the stroke. This is done in a single stroke of the machine. Each body maker runs about 250 strokes per minute. A single production line may have up to eight body makers to make a total of 2,000 cans per minute. The can moves on to the trimmer, where it is trimmed to the proper height. After trimming, cans are spot checked and measured for adherence to quality assurance standards and customer specifications. Quality check stations are located right on the production floor, so the cans are checked at various stages during the manufacturing process. Following trimming and inspection, the cans are sent to a washer. In a six-stage procedure, the washer removes the oil that was used to lubricate the aluminum during the cupping and body making processes. This prepares the can for decorating. Depending on the label, cans are either base coated or conveyed directly to high speed printers. If a can goes to the base coater, it receives a white coating on the outside of the can. That coating will enhance the quality of the label graphics that will be printed over the base coat. After base coating, the cans go through a hot air oven to dry the white base coat before heading to the decorator. At the decorator, 
We can use up to eight colors to apply decoration or labels to the cans at speeds of up to 2200 cans per minute. The cans receive their ink from a rubber mat or blanket. At over 2,000 cans per minute, this process happens at a truly amazing pace. The decorator also applies a clear over varnish to protect the finish. Here you can see an animation of the cans entering the decorator, being printed and over varnished, then going on to the pin chain for transport to the drying oven. You can also see the blankets receiving ink from the printing plates and transferring the ink to the cans. Finally, the cans pass by a bottom coater and receive a coat of lacquer on their bases to give them a smooth finish and enable them to go through the conveying system. Our 12 ounce cans are now fully decorated and varnished. They are ready for the decorator oven, where they will undergo curing at temperatures of 350 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. You probably noticed that aluminum cans are transported through the production line via a conveyor system intended to move the containers gently, safely and efficiently between the production processes. After the cans emerge from the decorator oven, the inside of the cans are sprayed with a water-based varnish coating that acts as a barrier between the metal and the beverage which will later fill the can. The coating ensures that the taste of the beverage is unaffected by the can material. The internal coating is then oven dried. The next step is called necking. Necking reduces the size of the can opening so that less metal is required to make the can end. This process also gives the can a smooth, attractive appearance. After necking, a flat rim or flange is added to the can opening so that easy open lift tab ends can be seamed on after the container is filled. Finally, each and every can is tested for microscopic pinholes or damaged flanges which might cause leaks. Both light sensitive testers and video inspection instruments test the cans and reject automatically any can that does not meet strict requirements. The completed and inspected cans flow to a palletizer. The 12 ounce cans shown here are formed into layers of 389 cans and are stacked up to 21 layers high. That's more than 8,100 cans per pallet. Straps are attached to each completed pallet to keep it intact during handling, and the pallets are sent to the warehouse to await shipment. This warehouse holds millions of cans. The type and amount of products stored here are changing continually as finished cans are shipped out and new cans are manufactured. Ball makes and sells about 100 million recyclable metal beverage cans per day. And no metal is wasted in the process. Scrap generated from can and end production is recycled. Ball uses recycled aluminum to make new cans. In fact, on average, more than 50% and sometimes as much as 80% of each aluminum beverage can made by Ball is comprised of recycled aluminum. It takes 95% less energy to manufacture aluminum coils for cans from recycled material than it does from virgin aluminum. And that is how Ball Corporation makes 12-ounce aluminum beverage cans. 
customers and consumers know that when you see the Ball logo on a can, you can be sure it is a symbol of quality.